so after months and months and months of me like going through you know depression you know losing my hair you know gaining like tons of weight i had enough time to actually sit down and and, and think to myself as far as like that i want to go forward as far as continue producing the project you know me me having a bigger ego i'm like i'm gonna give it my best shot like i'm not going to let circumstances define whether this project is done or doesn't get done. So I decided that if I needed to go back at it again, I may need to set it up at a bigger scale. In order for me to do that, I might have to acquire bigger talent or popular talent in the city that you know most people knew about to see if they were gonna be interested, you know, in being a part of the project. Cause this man would hit me up. He was consistent about hitting me up. I, I guess he, I don't know if he'd seen some of my work and stuff like that online, but he wanted to work and he wanted me to be a part of the project. And I ain't gonna front, I used to give him the duck around. I ain't know who this man was. Like, you know what I mean? He used to hit me up on Facebook with a default. It says caution on it. I'm like, nigga, you, you telling me exactly what to take before I answer your ass. <laughs> so we, uh, I seen him in church. Um, that means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man of, I'm a man of God and uh, at least, you know, on my way to walk towards that path, that's something that's important to me. At the time, I was, uh, we was at Hillsong, I believe, 34th Street. And um, Kojo comes up to me. I guess he recognizes me, we chop it up, I seen him in person. And I think that kind of put the stamp on there for me, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, shit is weird nowadays, all technical with the internet and shit. And I think that when you meet somebody in person, um, you kind of get that vibe. He sent over the script, and I seen the script, and I was like, I fuck with this, you know what I'm saying? I really, I really do. I really do fuck with this. I'm a, you know, I like, I like to express myself through reality. And when he sent over the script with Proceed with Caution, I, I seen that through there, and you know, I fell in love with it. And I said, yeah, I want to be a part of this project. So even though I had almost casted all the characters that I needed for Proceed with Caution, I was still short of one character. We were looking for somebody I to play Tiny, and on that journey was so difficult because I couldn't find any actresses that were comfortable for doing a sex scene. Jack actually got involved and, you know, started to help produce. At this time, Jack Thriller was, you know, shooting his 16 or better and had a lot of 16 or better girls. And he was like, hey, why don't you audition some of these girls and whoever fits, you know, you can, you know, cast them into your movie. Jack had me go through a whole bunch of uh, 16 or better girls and um, we ended up actually finding Fantasia who was actually perfect for the role, but there was only one problem. There was nothing tiny about Antasia. Bitch, I'm the man. Ho, oh, I'm the man. What? You know I'm the man. Bitch, I'm the man. Ho, oh, I'm the man. Hey, you know I'm the man. What? Bitch, I'm the man. Hey, ho, oh, I'm the man.